Hello, and welcome to the fifth video of the GastroPlus 9.7 tutorial dedicated to how we can use the PK Plus modules and IV data to calibrate a compartmental model. In the previous series of videos, we have first created a new database, then imported the physical chemical properties of midazolam that have been measured in vitro and were available in literature. And then we've set up the dosage form and the dose for the simulation we want to perform. Now what we will do, we will import the data that we want to simulate. So to do so, you can go to File, Load, and select the option number five that is made to load tissue or plasma concentration time profile for an IV dosage form. This pop-up window will help you to import the data. However, you can see two things. First, the units. We have the time in hour, and the concentration is micrograms per milliliter. The data we want to study have been measured in nanograms per milliliter. So we're going to change these units. Click on units and select the option three to have them in nanograms per milliliters versus hours. And now the units are matching. And then simply go to Excel, select the data, copy them, and you can past them into the software. Couple of other information. To keep track of what you've done, you have a common box on the top. What you can do is to copy also where are the data from. So you have all of the information in the same space. You can define the dose and also the body weight. In that case, it was 70 kilograms. Click on Read Row so you can see your PK profiles. Once you've done that, by clicking on OK, the software tells you that you've modified the data, which you're aware. Click on Yes, and then ask you if you want to save them. So now we're going to save the data into the software. As you can see, the software already named the file and that name is matching the record name. This is a very important detail, but the name of the record file has to match the name of the support files. So once we have that, and also the directory have been decided for you, click on Save. As you can see now that we have our support file right there. It has been created. The next phase is to calibrate the compartmental model for you. The compartmental PK model is already selected. And by default, because we haven't touched anything yet, the clearance volume of distribution have been estimated by AdMed Predictor. In that case, we have only a single compartmental model to describe the data. What we want to do, we want to use PK plus modules to calibrate these parameters for clearance, volume distribution, and distribution parameters in either one or two peripheral compartments. So to do so, click on modules and PK plus, and I will make it bigger. First, let's use the data we've just created. So go to file. Open CP time profile. Once you've opened, you have a pop up window that goes in the directory of your, of your project, and you can select the data that you've just created. Click on Open and click on OK. You can see on the right hand side that the data, the clinical data, are presented in this green square. But also, the IV dose has already been entered and the body weight because you've put this information in your support files already. 
So you don't have to do anything else, but just click on solve. As you can see, it's very fast. And the model did multiple things for you. First, a non-compartmental analysis had been done. So you can know the AUC, the clearance, and the volume of distribution based on that non-compartmental analysis. On the top of that, PK Plus simulated and fitted a one, two, and three compartment models to the data and identify which one is the best. So if we scroll down on that menu, you can see the results for the one compartmental model with the parameter estimated, the R square, and the IKK criteria that are used to define the best model. You can see here on the top that you have the one, two, and three compartment model, but the two compartment is selected. That's because PK plus estimated that the two compartmental model is the best. So let's just verify that is right. Let's put the data, change the scale from linear to log. And it is true that when you look at the results, the line being the simulated profile, the model seems to be able to describe the data really well. If we look at the one compartmental model, it is doing a decent job, but it's not perfect, far from that. And when we go to the three compartmental model, the simulation is as good as the two compartmental model. However, we have more parameters. So we will always want to use the simpler model to describe the data. In that case, the two compartmental model. If we scroll down to the results of the two compartmental model, you will see that the CV percent of the esti param estimated parameters are fairly decent. The R square is 0 0.99. So we have a pretty good model. If I reduce that window now, as I mentioned, by default, and because we use the admit predictor, we have parameters for the clearance and the central volume that have been estimated based on the 2D structure of our molecules. So now what we want to do, we want to transfer these parameters into the software. We could copy and paste them by hand. That would be very long. You can also go to File, Export, and select Option 2. You will export the central volume, the clearance, and two of the equilibrium rate constant between the central and the peripheral compartment. Click on yes. And now you can see that all of these parameters have changed based on the PK plus analysis. So I will close that. The take home message or that PK plus modules can estimate the distribution and elimination parameters based on IV data. You can transfer these estimated parameters very easily between PK plus and Gastro plus. On the top of that, PK plus also performs a non-compartmental analysis of your data. And what I would like also to mention is PK plus can do much more if also you include oral data, and this will be presented in a specific video. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video.